Here's what we got. Well, I'm making the elevator for the Zero. I make two of them. It's uh, pretty rough right now. Just trying to get an idea of how everything works. I might have to remake this piece if I can't smooth that out. But uh, that's it. Anyway, I'm getting to the point now where I have a lot of pieces, of these complex ribs. And to put it together, I have to have a jig to make it straight. So that's what I'm working on today is building this jig up. I'm in the process and it will sit in there and be held at, at known points like this attaches to the where the spar comes through it'll catch some of the rivet holes and it'll hold it exactly where it's supposed to be right as well as going outward and I'm trying to incorporate into the incorporate into the jig all the known points on it hinge points for the elevator itself hinge points for the trim tab I'm trying to be smart and build it that I can, when it's in there and held, I can slide the leading edge skins in and secure them in place without having to take it completely out of the jig or take the jig completely apart. Right. Anyway, that is that. Cool. Thank you. What do we got here? We got the um, original piece, obviously. Here's what I have of an original one. That's the only piece we have. Yeah, well, I have another section that's very in the same condition, but it's missing the uh, wrist bar area and the hinges for the trim tab. Anyway, it's interesting how they're built. The spar comes out and wraps around a 1 and 3 8 steel tube, which will actually project out here and have a flange on it to attach to the bell crank for the elevator system. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you can see it's captured inside of there. And has rivets going through it and whatnot. Yeah. And you can see on the bottom side, you can see how the aluminum was wrapped up around it. And that's what we have going on in the spar here. Gotcha. And an interesting thing about this is there's a hole in the middle of this. You can see down there that hole. Yeah. It corresponds to this hole here, which comes out, which goes to the curved arm that we had talked about before on the trim system. Anyway, that runs through the elevator and right here there is a knuckle attached to it with a u-joint so as this moves the rod can remain in the horizontal stabilizer oh okay yeah anyway of course you can see the flange where that tube sticks out so obviously on pieces like this we can uh, replicate and copy so the pieces that are missing how are we uh, coming up with those um Kind of reverse engineering it off of the stabilizer we do have mm -hmm. and the limited drawings we have and lots of pictures. Yeah, because unfortunately we don't have the blueprints. No, we have we have some pretty good drawings of it, but they don't show real detail. Right. But sticking with the, the same theme and how they build the thing, um, I think we've nailed it Done a pretty right good on. Yeah. Right. I went over and... and looked at one next door and I think it's pretty exact. So, so cool. we're going to talk about some rib construction here. Yeah, this um, is the ribs, the all the control surfaces on the plane, with the exception of the flaps, are all built up and fabric covered. Anyway, this is and what we start off with. You can see a rib here. Of course it has uh, all the joggles in it. This is just a test piece. Right. It has um, the joggles for the trailing edge and the uh, rear spar where it terminates right here, like that, and whatnot. But the uh, interesting thing is the recess in the ribs for the rib stitching when they stitch the fabric on. It'll have two more holes on this particular one. But anyway, these are where the holes will be for the rib stitching. Anyway, what we do show you on this one is I've machined these blocks. An aluminum insert to just the right size. And we pin those in like this, and then the female block, which is a little oversized, goes on it. Anyway, and we press it, and we come out with uh, the depression. An interesting thing about the zero ribs is they also put in um, little grommets to keep the the uh, rib stitching cord from being severed by the edge of the metal. Amazing. Yeah. Anyway, these are these are just test pieces to try different different uh, 
ideas, but before these can be folded up, the, the grommets have to be put into it. So when you get down to the really small ribs, when you get to the small ribs, you have the edge flanged over. It would be pretty hard to get in there and back up the, the grommet while you seat it. So they all have to be done on the table before the ribs actually fold it up. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's all there is to these. All right, thanks, Ben. Yeah.